To begin with, we'd like to discuss just some of the features we offer on the core time narrator. One of the things we're very conscious about is operation safety. You'll notice on the rear of the machine a safety bail. When this is drawn up, then the belt mechanism and chain drive will allow the machine to be propelled. On the front, we offer several types of times. This one is set up with half-inch scoring time. We do offer a three-quarter-inch scoring time, a fracture time for extreme compact soil and very stony ground, and for very fine turf, such as cricket pitches or golf greens, a slitter time. Now, the depth that can be reached by these times does vary. Scoring times generally attain about two and three-quarter depth. The mini fracture times and slitter times will attain depth up to five inches. The machine comes with four ballast weights on the front, which may or may not be required. Sometimes aeration is achieved at the maximum depth with times, and the biggest factor controlling that often is the moisture in the ground. And at times, we have to use all four of these weights. At other times, we'll remove the weights and use one, two, three, or up to four. The machine has on its rear pneumatic tires, which allow it to traverse along the ground whilst the tines are at full depth, and often help to gauge the depth and control of the machine and its safety. We've also allowed for different heights of people because the handles are adjustable towards the top end. One of the nice improvements that make this machine interchangeable tines are available. And one of the best tines we've found to address things like very stony ground, very compact ground, or a customer base that does not wish to have small cores lying on the ground, which you would normally have to pick up. And this is very important for contractors. Also, we get into some pretty prestigious lawn areas. And aeration is something that the customer requires in service, but they're very detrimental to you leaving these small cores, which if it's a clay type core could bake and they are an undesirable from treading on the lawn and a safety factor. Also a lot of customers are concerned about them tracking into their home. So what we've developed here is the mini fracture time. Mini fracture time is a drop forge time, 120,000 tensile strength. It actually is mounted so that it has a one degree offset to the right and a small twist, which when it goes in the ground leaves a larger opening for nutrients, water, oxygen, fertilizer, and top dressing. It also develops fissures further in the soil by fracturing that soil. So if we attain a depth of five inches as an example, which is our maximum and most desirable, we could feel the fracturing and see the fissures about another inch and a half in that total depth. Again, no core residue, stony or rocky ground which may plug up core tines or bend or break them, tree roots which sometimes tines can get caught on and bent or destroyed. With a mini fracture tine, we have no fear of that. Again, the other benefit about mini fracturing, as I said, is with a larger opening, we allow quicker the recovery of a plant structure that's desiccated because more moisture will enter. We also allow a greater amount of oxygen into that root zone, which the plant depends on. The other situation is if we had torrential rain puddling on a lawn, which has poor drainage, that rain or that water line is very detrimental to drowning of that grass plant. So best we crack the surface and drain that water from that surface area. Also, we're using that water to feed a very, possibly a very dry area to enhance the root zone and thus the plant there above. The unit is built with multiple added weight blocks and in many cases we have to use as maximum many as four. Now if we're in the very soft ground in the early spring or late fall we would re remove the weight blocks as necessary. Today we've had some rain on this. This is a rather stony turfed area so we're going to try and achieve the maximum depth which will probably be around one between two and three inches today. One of the other things about fracture tying is that aeration can be done a number of times. 
Sometimes we have to actually aerate in one direction and apply a heavy dose of water to soften the ground. Now that we've opened it, to get that water into the root zone, it's not unusual for us to actually aerate the same area up to three times in three different directions. Each time, by adding that moisture, you'll notice that the time will attain a deeper depth. And in fact, probably we can go up to the maximum, which would be five inches. So what I'm going to do is a path down a very scarified area so we will visually see those pocket openings. rather interesting that on a single pass, we're probably attaining in that very hard ground an inch and a half. My second pass, where other passes will probably allow us to go down to yet closer to two, two and a half inches. So by repetitive aeration on the surface, and we're not adding moisture today, but we could, we would gradually get it down to the maximum depth you can also see the widths of these openings. Unlike a core tine, we have a lovely wide oval opening that will allow us to change the soil profile very quickly by adding top dressing. If it was a very clay dry soil and we wanted to break that down, we'd probably add sand. In this type of heavy soil, we're going to be adding some compost material, which will not only feed, will level the lawn and will benefit through the root zone by changing the soil base, which in this case is very shallow and on quite, quite stony ground.